Hey everyone, if you're thinking about getting into real estate investing and maybe you're looking at a legal duplex, stick around, this video is gonna be for you. So these legal duplexes are properties that are split into two separate units and they can be a smart investment. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about three common strategies to get you started. We're gonna talk about house hacking, turnkey and value add. And then I'm gonna walk you through a step-by-step -step on how to evaluate things to consider. And then at the end, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to use my mortgage app to actually run the numbers and all that stuff. So let's just jump right in. So have you ever heard of house hacking? If not, no big deal. It's really just when you're gonna live in one unit of the duplex and then rent out the other. So it's perfect, you know, if you're new to investing and you wanna offset your mortgage and living costs while you gain some experience as a property owner and a landlord. The next part is turnkey. This is where you're gonna buy uh, a duplex that's already completely rented out. Um, it's it's going to have uh, immediate rental income, but they're usually typically going to cost a little bit more because of that. And then you have value add, and that's the third option. So this is where you're going to increase the property's value by making improvements or cutting costs. So in this case here, maybe one unit is rented out while the other one needs some work. You could renovate that other unit and do some things to attract a higher renter. Right. So that helps you boost uh, the value of the property as well. So here are some other ways to add value. You can renovate the interior by upgrading the kitchens, bathrooms and flooring. You can improve the energy efficiency by installing a better uh, energy efficient appliance or HVAC system or changing the windows and insulation. You can add more value by um, uh, charging for storage, parking, that sort of thing. Uh, maybe Internet, uh, cable. And that will add to an additional monthly uh, cost for the renter, but adds you uh, some gross income there. So the other thing you could look at is if it does have a completed garage or has the space, you can add an additional dwelling unit in the back, but that's for a later video. So how to evaluate these legal uh, duplexes. So here's what you want to look at. So step one is location. Location is everything. And here are some things that you're going to want to consider. Is the amenities? Is it near schools, public transportation, shops, and parks? Safety? What's the crime rate in that area? Is it a safe neighborhood, right? What's the growth potential? You know, are there new businesses or developments that are coming up in the area? And then the next step is to talk about the money, right? So here's what you're going to need to do is understand, you know, what's your budget. So look at the purchase price. Look at things like your down payment and closing costs. Have you accounted for all of these upfront costs? So you want to look at that. Then you want to look at the rental income and you want to calculate how much you'll be able to make from either one unit or both units. Then you need to include all the property taxes, the insurance, utilities and maintenance into your expenses. And then if you want to figure out your cash flow, then all you're going to do there is you're going to take what's my gross income and I'm going to subtract my expenses from it. And that's going to give you your net cash flow. Right. Then what you can do is look at, OK, what's the overall return on this investment is you can look at the annual cash flow and divide that by the investment that you put into it. OK. All right. Let's move on to uh, step three, and that's you know, doing the home inspection, you really want to look at the physical condition of the duplex. You want to check things like the roof, the siding, the windows and landscaping, etc. Interior, you want to look at the plumbing, electrical, HVAC and structural integrity. But also you want to look at the compliance and make sure that it's actual legal duplex and it, and, and it meets all the zoning requirements and bylaws. And then step four, you want to do a bit of a market analysis and look at you know, what are some of the vacancy rates? Is there high demand for rentals? Check the comparables for rent for, for similar duplexes in the area. Look for trends. Are there any trends coming up in rental rates or popularity of the area? And then uh, step five, you want to look at the legal. So don't forget the legal stuff here. Uh, you need to look at what are the landlord tenant laws. You need to learn the rules about renting and evictions and about permits and licensing, all that kind of stuff. You need to do research on property insurance as rental, as a renter and landlord as well, because you need liabilities. And that covers off kind of the basics of what you want to do to evaluate it. Now I want to show you uh, step by step how you can use my mortgage app to do all of this, okay, and then evaluate the duplex. So the first thing you're going to have to do is download the mortgage app and create an account. So the link is provided in the description or DM me and I can send it to you. Step two, you're gonna click on purchase calculator 
And uh, so the purchase calculator, this is what's gonna help you to evaluate the duplex and calculate your mortgage costs, okay? So you do that, and then uh, step three, you're gonna create a scenario by clicking here, create a new scenario and name it after the property's address. This is gonna help you keep things organized. Step four, you wanna enter in all the basic information. So here's what you need to enter. First of all, the home price, that's the property's purchase price. You need to put in your down payment, the amount you're gonna be putting down, the interest rate, so the current interest rate, uh, the amortization period. So if it's less than 20% down, the max amortization here is gonna be 25 years. 20% or more will give you 30 years. Uh, step five, you're gonna to wanna to add in the property tax and any condo fees. Um, remember that the property tax here can be done monthly or annually and it'll automatically calculate it for you, but you're gonna to need to enter all that in. And then step six, you wanna include all your expenses like your heating, your utilities, all of that kind of stuff, your hydro, gas, internet. And if the renter will cover these costs, you can make note of it here and make the changes. In step seven, you're gonna to wanna to add in all your rental income. So you wanna enter in the expected income, including any extras like parking and storage fees as well. And then step eight, you wanna include any additional monthly expenses that you can put in here like insurance, property management fees, that sort of thing. Step nine, you wanna add in all your closing costs. These are the one-time expenses on closing day. The app will pre-populate some of this like trans land transfer tax. Just make sure you, that you select your province and uh, note that if you're a first time home buyer. Then step 10, just review your cash flow. So once you've entered everything in here, the app's gonna show you right at the top if it's gonna be a positive or negative cash flow. Really simple, easy to save. So that's it folks, and that's my guide for evaluating the legal duplex. Again, by downloading the app and using the app, you can compare multiple properties, you can save them so you can quickly go back and reference, and it's all in uh, on your cell phone. So it's in your pocket as you do it. So once again, if you found this helpful, you know, like and subscribe, comment, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.